Hello, my name is uh, Yusuf. I'm reporting for Room Now. Uh, I'm from uh, Leeds, United Kingdom, and I'm reporting uh, as a virtual attendee this year. Today is a day two of ACR, and there have been plenty more uh, wealth of data that have been presented. Um, so the one, the, there's a few uh, abstracts that caught my eyes, and one of them uh, was presented at the press release uh, SLE. Um, so the abstract number is uh, 0957. Um, so as uh, we know, um, antero antibody uh, positivity can be associated with uh, congenital, congenital heart block uh, uh, in a pregnant woman. Uh, therefore, um, it is important uh, to screen um, these patients uh, with a fetal echocardiogram uh, and uh, several uh, gui guidelines um, uh, in different different, uh, different countries have got different uh, variable approach. However, majority in America and Canada, um, the guidelines uh, stated that uh, the patient uh, it should be um, screened um, at uh, between week 16 to 18. So um, in this study, so this is a study in Montreal, a single study, a single center study. Um, so they looked uh, into uh, 44 uh, pregnancies. Um, so the objective were trying to uh, evaluate whether um, these uh, guidelines, uh, these guidelines uh, were met, and if uh, there was uh, any uh, uh, sequelae, if this uh, were not met. So in this um, study, um, what uh, they found uh, that only 32% of the patient uh, were screened, uh, you know, at 18 or before 18 weeks. So I think this is uh, quite um, uh, dissatisfying because of uh, um, really these patients should be um, screened earlier, you know, to prevent from complication. Although um, the risk of congenital heart block uh, in uh, in a first pregnancy, particularly, uh, are the same with other general population, about three percent. But I think because they do have these antibodies, so we should uh, be um, you know, taking more extra cautions. Um, so what happened um, in terms of the uh, outcomes? Uh, so they found um, there were five uh, cases of congenital heart block. Um, so two of them uh, were actually a referral uh, after the patient had underwent uh, screening earlier. So these patients had congenital heart block during uh, after 20 weeks pregnancy. However, three out of five um, cases were uh, actually uh, detected during the first screening. And the first screening was done you know, at 20 weeks or more. So, um, and when uh, these were detected, so these uh, uh, these fetus uh, have already uh, in the third degree heart block. So um, this is what, um, again, uh, this is uh, clinically relevant uh, is because if these you know, women uh, would have had uh, a screen earlier, then this would have been picked up earlier and probably uh, the degree of heart block will be much more milder that you can you know, treat them with hydroxychloroquine and dexamethasones rather than you know, the, the third degree, so which usually uh, may or may not be reversible. Um, so in terms of clinical practice, I think this uh, really uh, enhanced uh, and also uh, really opened uh, the eyes of uh, us as a clinicians uh, who've been who are dealing uh, with uh, a, a, a woman with lupus uh, to make sure, like you know, to counsel them and also to make sure to monitor them uh, and also liaise with the obstetrician uh, colleague in order to mo monitor for this congenital heart block in a timely manner. Uh, because time is muscle in this uh, uh, unique population. Uh, I hope that you find that my uh, summary is useful uh, and uh, please uh, follow uh, Room Now for more coverage through YouTube, Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, my Twitter handle is use6yusuf. Thank you.